Welcome. We are going to talk about one of the main reasons that patients on dialysis have anemia, and it's because the body is not making enough hemoglobin. So what happens in a normal kidney is the students, here we go, we've got two students here. Oh, they're so cute. They go talk to the principal. They talk to Mr. Kidney, Principal Kidney, and they're like, hey, we're suffocating here. We need your help. Can you please give us some more hemoglobin? And Mr. Principal, he is like, oh, of course, no problem. So then he makes this hormone called EPO. We've got blueberries here. He makes these hormones called EPO and they go and talk to the bone marrow. And EPO's like, hey, bone marrow, can you make some more hemoglobin? Everybody's suffocating here, like, please. And then the bone marrow is like, oh my God, of course, I'd be happy to. And then he produces more hemoglobin that aren't suffocating so much. And then the hemoglobin go and talk to Mr. Kidney or Principal Kidney and they're like, thank you so much. We're not suffocating anymore. You don't have to release any more EPO. And then their job is done. But what happens in end-stage renal disease is, you know, there are things that hurt the principal, that hurt the kidney. It can be diabetes, it can, that's the number one cause of end-stage renal disease. And the number two cause is hypertension. And then number three are genetic diseases. So we have all these things that come and beat up on Mr. Kidney. And Mr. Kidney's like, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm done. So when hemoglobin starts suffocating and they go up and talk to Principal Kidney, so hey, Principal Kidney's like, you guys are beating up on me too much. Like, I'm done, I'm retired, I'm not making any more EPO. So then what happens is there's no more EPO. There's no more EPO produced to talk to the bone marrow to tell the stem cells like, hey, I need you to produce more hemoglobin. So guess what happens? The patient on dialysis, their hemoglobin drops. Fortunately, one of the ways that we can fix this at the dialysis center is we give them synthetic EPO. So we will monitor their red blood cells and their hemoglobin at least monthly, usually twice a month, and we will adjust their EPO based on what their hemoglobin is. And that's one of the reasons why patients on dialysis have anemia. Oh my God. It's Cece from CMS. Oh, she saw me. Oh my God. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me go get her. Hey, it's future Lindsay. I decided to split this series up a little bit. So if you want to find out what CC from CMS has to say about anemia at the dialysis clinic, please subscribe, 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 and stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you, everyone.